This video will review two free mood tracking apps, T2 Mood Tracker and Pacifica. Though these apps can be used by anyone in the general public, our focus will be for individuals dealing with depression, generalized anxiety, TBI, and other mental health illnesses. Both mobile apps are available on Android and iOS systems. Now we will review the T2 Mood Tracker app. When you select the app from your home screen, you'll be directed to the home page with a list of categories. These categories correspond to different aspects of a user's mood. For this video, I will select the topmost category labeled Anxiety. The mood tracker uses a sliding scale to best capture the user's mood at that moment between two extremes. Once a user has finished selecting their ratings, the results can then be plotted onto a graph as you can see, to track progress over time. Once the user has completed that portion, they can then create a report that they can share with their provider. And they can also add notes for a particular day to add depth to their report. The app also offers a support page providing information on local resources for the user and there's also a reminder portion where you can select reminders to remind the user to fill out the mood tracker inventory at specific days and times. And that concludes the overview of the T2 mood tracker app. Now we're going to walk through the Pacifica app. Today we will concentrate on the mood tracking and intervention parts of the app. To open the app, click its icon. The home screen offers three options. We're going to use the mood rating system first. Touch the mood icon. From here, rate your mood from great to awful. Then choose an associated emotion to describe your mood. Lastly, you have the option of writing a note about how you feel. When you're finished, click the done button in the upper right hand corner. If you would like to see some recommendations, for improving your mood or relaxing, click the Actions button. Here Pacifica supplies activity recommendations which can be sorted by energy level required. For example, if you are low energy, right now, click the Low button. Pacifica then highlights some actions that may be helpful to you. To return to the home screen, click the, the X in the upper left hand corner. In order to track your mood over time, click the Your Progress button in the upper left hand corner. Here you can see your mood tracked over time. Click the back button to return home. The last thing we will review is setting reminders. From the home page, click the gear in the upper right hand corner. Scroll down to notifications. Here we have the options for receiving notifications never randomly throughout the day or after 7 p.m. That concludes the walkthrough of Pacifica. Now that we've gone through the steps on how to use each app, here are the pros and cons for each app. Both apps are great for tracking mood, so the user should choose whichever app best fits his or her unique needs.